Are you a true Year of the Unicorn expert? We're gonna find out in today's Unicorn Academy fan quiz. Everyone ready? Never readier. Remember to keep track of how many questions you get right. Then we'll tell you if you're a shining star in the Unicorn Constellation. Number one. How often does the Unicorn Constellation appear over Unicorn Island? A. Every night. B. Once a month. C. Every five years. Or D. Every ten years. And the answer is C. Every five years. You are lucky to be here in this exact moment in time. The Unicorn Constellation only appears every five years. And it's a truly breathtaking part of the celestial sphere. Huh? It has pretty stars. Oh. Number two. What magical unicorn island creature comes from the unicorn constellation? A. Dwarpins. B. Flutter bunnies. C. Fluffer hoppers. Or D. Baby unicorns. And the answer is D. Baby unicorns. Surprise! Is that a baby unicorn? <laughs> <laughs> Number three. Why shouldn't you go near unicorn babies when they're first born? A. They may lick you. B. They're still loaded with star magic. C. They'll spit up on you. Or D. You'll step in unicorn poop. And the answer is... B. They're still loaded with star magic. Come here, cutest little baby. No oh. hugging, Ava. Foals might be cute, but they're fresh from the stars and have unpredictable magic the first couple of weeks. <laughs> mm -mm. We've got to keep our distance until the star magic works its way out of their systems. Oh, I may pass out. Number four. What magical unicorn island creature only comes out during the fairy moon? A. Underwood fairies. B. Ratter pillars. C. Ogres. Or D. Ice dragons. And the answer is A. Underwood fairies. Underwood fairies. They live underground and only come out during the very moon. Can you believe we're really seeing them? You know, Underwood fairies are special. It's said they have the power to change your destiny. <laughs> your rider didn't appreciate you, River. Don't you think you deserve to bond with someone who will? It's okay, boy. The Underwood Fairies can give us both a second chance. Number five. How many crown stars make up the Unicorn Constellation's horn? A, five. B, three. C, 11. Or D, two. And the answer is D, three. Look, another star is falling. Huh? More babies? Nope, not from that one. That's a crown star. Those are the stars that make up the unicorn's horn. See? So, no baby? Sorry to disappoint. Crown stars have a different magic in them. Wow, we're halfway done. Five more to go. Think you can handle it? Number six. What kind of unicorn magic has a special connection to the stars? A. Fire magic. B. Weather magic. C. Light magic. Or D, water magic. And the answer is C, light magic. Over the span of a few weeks, the stars will fall, bringing new magic and energy to the island. As I'm sure you've noticed, Sophia. What do you mean? Wildstar has light magic, yes. Unicorns with light magic have a special connection to the stars. <sighs> I always wondered how she used a star to turn Ravenzella to stone. So is that why her powers have been stronger lately? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. And one of the crown stars has already fallen. These three stars, well, two now, 
have an especially powerful magical energy. How powerful? What can he do? Uh, I, 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 I could go on about this all night long, but, but we ought to return to our lesson. <gasps> Number seven. Why is Sophia searching for the crown stars? A. They could help her bring her dad back. B. They're super shiny. C. She wants to give them as presents. Or D. She's doing a class project on crown stars. And the answer is... A. They could help her bring her dad back. C. Don't you think this could be my dad using the crown stars? It's definitely possible. He made Grimoria disappear, but the star magic must have made him disappear too. So if we find these stars, we might be able to use them to bring your dad back? I'm so in. Definitely all aboard the dad saving train. <laughs> Besides, anything's better than homework. I disagree with Rory's academic slander, but I want to help too. You already know my answer, bestie. Number eight. When Sophia's dad went missing during the last year of the unicorn, what was he looking for? A, wild star. B, two unicorn hooves. C, the crown stars. Or D, unicorn poop. And the answer is C, the crown stars. Star's magic is almost gone. This is our only chance, Wildstar. It's just you and me. Hit it, girl! Yeah! Number nine, what part of the unicorn constellation does Wildstar try to steer Sophia away from? A, the tail. B, the unicorn hooves. C, the crown stars. Or D, unicorn poop. And the answer is C, the crown stars. Wake up! It's just a dream. I'm here. I'm right here. <laughs> Here. It's okay. It's just a dream. Wake up. It wasn't your fault. I get it now. You're trying to keep me away from the Crown Stars because you don't want me to disappear like he did. I promise. I'm not going anywhere. Get ready, it's your last question. What new character is also looking for the crown stars? A, Danny. B, the Star Snatcher. C, Mona Fury. Or D, Samuel Crawford. And the answer is B, the Star Snatcher. Unicorn stars, it's time to tally up your score. If you got one to three questions right, you're a unicorn recruit. If you got four to seven questions right, you're a unicorn rider in training. And if you got eight, nine, or ten questions right, congrats, you're a full-on Unicorn Academy crown star. Thanks for playing along with us. 
Don't forget to subscribe for more fun quizzes and games all about Unicorn Academy, now playing on Netflix.